Hi, and welcome to session 16. I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit about blues and rock guitar playing in the last few sessions. And we've only got a few more sessions to go. This next session is about strumming, advanced strumming to be exact. We've covered some basic strumming concepts way back in session nine, but the strumming I'm gonna teach here is gonna take it a little farther. It's gonna be a little bit more complex, but is also much more musically interesting. So this session and the next session as well are back to working on skills. It's time to get back into the practice room and hone these guitar skills. Now, you know, now is also a good time in your development to begin passing on what you've learned to someone else. Now, you may think that you have nothing to show a learning guitarist because you're still learning yourself, but we are all learning. And mentoring another guitar player is a great way to give back what you have learned. That may be teaching a coworker or a neighbor a few chords, or maybe it's teaching guitar to your kids so that you can give them a lifetime of making music. I wanted to let you know about another resource. If you are interested in teaching your kids guitar, we do have a homeschool version of the course that includes a helpful teacher's guide detailing what to be looking for at each stage of their development, as well as charts on what they should be doing at every particular stage. I put in that resource the exact things that I look for when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a student. It's a great resource, and it's available to you at learnandmaster.com slash homeschool. And since you are already going through the course yourself, there is also a family and friends discount link that you can use. That link is at learnandmaster.com slash friends. Okay, remember to get out there and play with other musicians as often as you can. The information that is on the DVDs can only take you so far. You need to get out there and learn how to apply it in real musical situations. And that's where playing with other musicians is going to help. Many people don't know where to start to find other musicians to play with in their area. Well, consider joining maybe a local guitar club or attending maybe weekly jam sessions in your area. Chances are your local music store might have some information about things like this going on in your area. Or how about joining the music team at your church or asking maybe a local blues band if you can just come and rehearse with them sometimes. Any experience like this will take your playing to a new understanding of how to work with other musicians and is going to really enrich your musical life. Keep up the great work. You have come a long way. I hope by now playing guitar and making music has become a natural and rewarding part of your life and home. That's what it's all about. I'll see you in the session.